Am I got a fucking spider on me? I've got a fucking spider on me. Fucking hell. Yes, I see you there, buddy. Ugh, fuck off. I think this is the best we're going to get. It's unfortunate, but it's not really much I can do about it. Alright, one bad thing to note here is I can't use a controller for this. I'm going to have to use a keyboard and mouse. So what is this? Basically, well, you'll find out as we go through the game, I suppose. Uh, Alright, how am I going to get this comfy? Uh, I don't really have a good setup here for, um, for my... Uh, for my thing, alright, if I might have to use the mouse with the left and keyboard with the right, I guess. New game, uh, we'll put the live stream. And there's a reason I'm not doing the let's play this yet, is because there's obviously. I just actually puked up a bit in my mouth there. Is, um, the fact that there's not a whole lot to it at the moment, so. The game's also going to have a lot of commentary, so I'm not going to have to do much myself. Hi, David. I have a call for you. I'm just putting it through. All right, mate. David, listen. Uh, I know you've only come in to clean up the place, but I've got a bit caught up, so uh, you're going to have to run the news tonight. Now, don't worry. It's not hard, and I'm going to stay on the phone and help you. First, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the broadcast room, so if you're not doing it already, look forward. Alright, I'm just going to have to put Capture Cursor on because otherwise you won't be able to see what I'm doing otherwise. Right, look up at the top. That coloured bar is your audience. You want to keep the viewers going up and not down. Underneath that, you've got the screens. The one on the right is the broadcast screen. That's what the viewers are seeing at home. It's only a couple of seconds behind the master screen there in the middle. That's the one you control. Now the four small screens on the left show the different signals coming from the studio and you can choose between them using the numbered buttons on the vision mixer at the bottom left. Don't worry, I'll talk you through it and you'll pick it up in no time. Now, have a look to your left. Go over here. I should point out this only lasts for about uh, one to two hours so we, got, we can do the entire thing. In the Do this one, that one, and Alan James. Why not? Uh, sometimes putting these things in is actually fairly tricky. There we go. You don't see if you make me put on the costume. Yeah, I thought it might increase our viewing figures. Every day. You offer me prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. That's how I show love. You're trying to kill me. And yet you persist. Going in five, four. Now, it's time to join Jeremy Donaldson. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main story is tonight. Okay. Moving on up. Next is going to be to throw the news titles on screen too. There'll be a countdown, but I'll count you in as well. Just relax, mate. It's all gravy. Honest Andy's totally independent. Unfortunately, the tutorial is not skippable. Sports fans everywhere celebrate as popular footballer Johnny Hamsley wins Sports Personality of the Year and a spoonful of sugar. Megan will be chatting with movie star Lawrence Vanderklatch. I don't really have to provide much commentary for this. It's actually just fun on its own. I'm going to show up for a while.
I hope you guys can hear the game audio, by the way. Here it comes. Switch to screen one. Now. Lovely, mate. The votes are in, and it's a decisive win for advance. The, the landslide. Listen, mate. We all we'll forget a bit of interference around this time of night. So keep your eye on the machine on the bottom right. You can move that white dot up and down, avoiding the interference using the yellow knob or your scroll wheel. Of a severe lack of actual policies. I actually recommend just doing this with it, pulling it up and down. Don't use the scroll wheel. It doesn't work properly. Overwhelming mandate, but have yet to appear publicly. Great, it's going well. All you've got to do now is play the advert at the end of the segment. Make sure you don't play it too early or we'll all get fired. Now the clock at the top is counting you down to the advert. When it reaches zero, press one of the three play ad buttons over there at the bottom right. I normally play the first one at the first break and so on, but you can play them in any order you want. I'll count you into it as well, but keep your eye on the clock. We're going live to Advance HQ to hear the co-leader's acceptance speech. And three, two... One advert. One minute back, everybody. Jeremy, I need to do the last. Not bad. Why? Ranker Snatch is running late. Oh. Thought I'd ask him about the election. Personally, I wouldn't try to confuse you with any big words. Oh, that's the same policy we use with you. I thought that was our little secret. Well, sure, he doesn't remember anything I tell him. I'm deeply uncomfortable with your burgeoning friendship. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Later, we'll be hearing from the shock election winners in advance. But first, our ready to go to Megan on screen four. Megan Wolf is here with the star of both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf, culture correspondent. And today, I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare right, to the Right, go to Blunder on screen three when she says his name. By none other than Lawrence Blunderclatch. Thank you so much for coming on. Oh, my dear. I do hope you believe me when I tell you that being with you here today is among the... Switch to two for the wide now. <laughs> May I say having you here with us is among ours. <laughs> right, now just try and stay on whoever's talking. The latest from Libby, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. <laughs> wow, what was that like? Yeah. Well, as I said to Peter at the WAP, that's... Peter Jensen, the director. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. Lovely. Now back to Thunder Twat. I worked with him on several movies, all terribly successful. I said to Peter, what a wild ride this has been. What a wild and do you know what, Megan? I really meant that. Wow, that is fantastic. And am I right in saying that the character you play in this movie is quite an academic one? Absolutely right. A scientist. Was that a challenge at all? What exactly are you implying? But seriously, yes, you're right. But it was a complete yes. departure from my last starring role when I played Sergeant Brock Rockman in Sergeant Bullet Man. You'll remember that that was the true story of one soldier's fight for a love that surpasses all others. A love, of course, for freedom. I think it's grossed over a billion dollars, but uh, honestly, who's counting? <laughs> It's a role that saw you scoop two Best Actor awards, if I remember correctly. It's so sweet of you to mention it, but I really am not in it for the awards, really although those three little statues do take quite a place on my mantelpiece. Uh, with all the others, I'm sure. So, if you're not doing it for the awards, mm. what is it then that drives you? Oh, 
That's a beautiful question, Mega. And not easy to answer. And not easy to like answer. you. Like you. And Fred. Cut me. And I will bleed. And, and often, bleed. that's how it feels. Doesn't it? That's how it Doesn't it? Doesn't bleeding. Doesn't it? Giving. Bleeding. Suffering. Giving. The ones all <laughs> I suppose in the end I do it for the difference again. I suppose in the end I do it for I do it for the people that I inspire. I do it for the people the little people. But most of all I think I do it for the positive change that I can bring about in the world. And today of course uh, we're in for some real change it looks like in the coming few months. What do you make of this historic election result? Oh well. <laughs> Well, now you're asking. Historic election result. Indeed. Historic is the word. What? Difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. But, um, I think I've always been quite clear that when it comes to politics, that one should always strive to not fuck things up. Jeez. Oh, well, well, don't worry, you won't do it again. Sorry, I said fuck. She did it again. Okay, don't panic. I'll explain how to deal with swearing at the break. Medicated, which opens next week. Right, they've swapped the shot of Jeremy on screen one for a VT of the movie clip. You'll get a countdown on the screen, but I'll just let Megan cue you in. My character, Dr. Lance Hemlock, is faced with a decision that could affect humanity's very survival. Exciting stuff. Let's take a look. Oh, hey, old pie. Doctor. I don't understand. Oh, it looks like Blunder Clatch is loosely in the studio. I'd love to hear what he's saying, but don't switch to it now. How's the audio? When the broadcast's done, we keep everything. I don't know that. I don't know that. No, Lance, we mustn't. Good, good, good. Did it for you, baby. All for you. Dr. Hemlock. I'm gonna change the world, do you know? Won't I listen to you? Dr. Hemlock. You told me, but I didn't listen. Doctor. I'm drowning, Lance, you said. You need to see this. No, it's all too late. Look at this! Got it! That's fine, old pie. I'm not going to be going too much longer myself. Only about 20, 25 minutes, I think, at most. Yes. At the end of the clip, you'll want to play another ad. Remember to use the clock at the top to count you in. If we should. And add. As you probably notice, the broadcast screen here is about two seconds behind the master screen here. When someone says a naughty word, the bleep button lights up like this. Two seconds later, you'll hear that swear word going out on the broadcast, and you need to hold down the bleep button or the space bar on your keyboard for as long as the swear word lasts. It can take a bit of practice getting used to hearing two things at once. Just stay calm and you'll get it. And if you can't tell when to bleep, just above the button, you'll literally be able to see the sound scrolling by. All you've got to do is hold it down while the red bit is over the red line. Simple. Of course, if you do it by eye, you'll have to take your eye off the screens. That's why real professionals do it by ear. Most people like to have the volume of the broadcast screen a little bit below the master screen. Let's set it now. I actually don't like changing it, but we have to to progress the tutorial. As you turn it up, Welcome back. 
And I'm told we can now go live to advance headquarters where the two leaders, Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury, are about to make their acceptance address. Oh shit. Shall I start? Go for it, Pat. Okay. Well, uh, thank you all for coming. And, well, where do I start? What a day. They said we couldn't do it. They certainly did. They used every dirty, low-down, lying, southern bastard trick I had against you. You, the people, you saw me right through their shit. I'm sorry about the language there. Sorry about that. I've had a couple of celebratory pints. It makes me coarser than a granny's fanny. Memorably put. Perfect. But to be honest, who can blame Peter for celebrating? Throughout the campaign, you've heard us say that advance are not a political party. A party is what you have when things are going well. When the country is suffering, you don't need a party. You need a team. A team that can change things. But today is day one of a new future. A better, fairer future. So perhaps we should all be celebrating. Except for the rich. For them, the party's over. They shouldn't be celebrating. They should be putting their shitting pants on and opening their dusty checkbooks. Again, colourfully put, but not inaccurate. Before we came out here to address the nation, we used our executive powers to pass the Assets and Wealth Act. Working with the tax office, we have produced a definitive list of every person in the country with wealth into the millions. You know this sort of probably you you rather you don't. Because the likes of you and me are not welcome in their gated communities. Tomorrow we will be introducing a sweeping reform of the tax system in this country. No more hiding wealth offshore, no more trust funds or creative accounting. A simpler, fairer unavoidable set of tax laws. So all you bastard public school snobs have got nowhere to hide. And earlier today, we revoked your passport. You want them back? You want to leave like you threatened before the election? That's fine. But first, you're going to pay up. You're going to pay back. Advance are going to turn this country from a nation of warring individuals into a team. To properly fund health and education. To raise the living standards of us all. The pundits said we'd have to raise billions. But you'll see when we've reclaimed what's ours, that's absolute ferret shite. So to you posh twats. The people who pay you a pittance to serve them drinks in their private clubs. The the people whose children you raise. So they've got time to get even fucking richer. Advance have this to say to you. It ends today. We are coming for your sports cars and your mansions and your vineyards. It ends today. We will put the wealth of this country back where it should have always been. In the hands of the people who created it. It ends today. Yes, it ends today. And tomorrow, we'll start making it fair again, just like we promised we would. And until then, ladies and gents, I suggest we all get pissed. I can't argue with that. Thank you for your time. Well, an interesting acceptance speech there from the leader of advance. And our apologies for the fruity language. Hopefully we got that bleeped out for you in time. If not, someone's going to be in trouble. So, as the country braces itself for new government, that's all from us this evening at the National Nightly News. We'll be back tomorrow with full coverage of the first day under advance. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful night. Right, that's all you've got it now. Thanks for real, mate. I've got to go. Ferry's about to leave. Probably won't be coming back. Job's yours, mate. Good luck. Some old boring politics, then. This is some weird fever. Dream. That actually went a lot better than I expected it to. You should be so lucky. I'll see you tomorrow night. Not coming for a drink? No, nope, got a date. Lucky you. Try not to get murdered. Okay. Uh, so... As anybody you may not know, this is uh, not for broadcast. Uh, this part I'm actually just done is actually a free version of the game. It's like the tutorial, the first stage, whatever you want to call it. It's free to download, it's free to get, it's free to play. Anything after this is actually a... Um, 
is actually uh, going to cost you money. Uh, there's only a couple more things you can do. Uh, this is actually the best part of the game, in my opinion, doing this. There's also, like, some story things, like, um, you know, oh, your life is this, you have two little girls and all that. And it, that part of the game, I'll talk about that when I actually get around to doing the full thing eventually at some point in the future, is actually kind of dull, in my opinion. This is the best part of the game, is where you got to um, basically run an entire studio. It's actually pretty fun. Uh, it's not exactly expensive, but I think it cost me, like, £7.50. Uh, and there's not a lot of content at the moment. But the developers have said they're going to be adding a crap load more. And there's a lot more actually still to see. There's like two more days, but you've still got a load of this fun little stuff to watch. It's actually really, really good. Not bad, though. I got an A overall. Outstanding censoring, interference free, and lovely editing. That's actually the best I've ever done with that. That's actually really awesome. 